Hi everyone, this is Dr. James DeNicola Antonio, author of The Cell Fix and The Mineral Fix, and today I'm going to be talking about coffee and caffeine, and whether coffee and caffeine is dehydrating. And the simple answer is, it depends. So one study actually looked at participants and they gave them a set diet and a set amount of fluid intake without drinking coffee, and it showed that these people were actually in positive fluid balance. These individuals consumed about two liters of fluid, and then they got another about 1.2 liters more of fluid from food and through metabolic production. And essentially the amount of fluid that they were intaking was less than what they were excreting, excreting by about 90 ml, or about three ounces. So they were in positive fluid balance, so they were fully hydrated. But then what the participants did was is they replaced six cups of mineral water with six cups of coffee to see if the coffee actually led to dehydration. And in fact, that's exactly what happened. The coffee increased diuresis by 0.75 liters and these people ended up having a negative water balance of about 660 mLs. Um, essentially, they were you know, in negative you know, 21 ounces essentially of fluid. So, in other words, if you drink coffee or you consume caffeine and you don't replace the extra fluid that is lost by drinking more water, then it can be dehydrating. But it actually gets worse because coffee isn't just a diuretic, it causes us to lose salt and potassium as well as a little bit of magnesium and calcium. So to give you an example of how much is lost, we lose about a half a teaspoon of salt per four cups of coffee and it would be about half that if you only consume two cups of coffee. We also lose about 500 milligrams more of potassium if we consume six cups of coffee, and about half that if we consume three cups of coffee. And then we lose about five milligrams of magnesium, which may not sound like a lot, but since magnesium's bioavailability is only 30%, we would need about 15 more milligrams of magnesium to replace those losses. And we do lose some calcium as well, but if our intake of calcium is about 1,000 milligrams per day, it doesn't seem to have that bad of a consequence. So if you do consume a fair amount of coffee, I would say between three to six cups every single day, then you do want to increase your intake of water, salt, potassium, and a little bit more of magnesium and calcium. The other nutrients that are lost, at least that what we know of, there's probably more than just these two additional nutrients that I'm gonna cover, is taurine and myo-inositol. They are also lost in the urine when you consume caffeine or coffee because the reabsorption of those um, nutrients into the body actually occurs through the reabsorption of sodium. And because coffee inhibits the reabsorption of sodium, we're also going to inhibit the reabsorption of taurine, which is a very important amino acid for performance and uh, eye health and brain health and also a substance called myo-inositol, which is important for insulin sensitivity, mood, sleep, and a bunch of other things. So if we are, or if you're someone that is a chronic coffee consumer or you consume a lot of caffeine, then you're probably going to want to increase your intake of not just myo-inositol and taurine, but also